and teachings of Bhagwan Devatma Teacher of the one true science grounded religion for all mankind and founder of the true religious society Dev Samaj It has two parts The first part In the first part preface to the first edition of part 1 Bhagwan Devatma the most worshipful founder of the Dev Samaj and the discoverer and teacher of the one true science grounded universal system of religion for all mankind lived an ideal life on this earth. He was born with the heredity of unique psychic powers which he evolved under suitable environments and by making phenomenal sacrifices and renunciations and surrender of all physical material and mental powers. The highest psychic forces which he ultimately evolved and which completed its soul organism are the following. Number 1. Complete and all-sided love for all that is true in all relations of man. Number 2. Complete and all-sided hatred for all that is untrue and false in all relations of man. Number 3. Complete and all-sided love for all that is good in all relations of man. Number four, complete and all-sided hatred for all that is wrong or sinful in all relations of a man. It is these grandest and most glorious and absolutely wonderful powers which alone can complete soul organism and make life ideal. This ideal life possessed of the highest sense of love for truth and goodness and absolute repulsion for untruth and wrong was and is something utterly incomprehensible to millions of men possessed of happiness-based low loves and low hates. 
hence the present humanity instead of warming warmly greeting such a unique manifestation took up an attitude of violent opposition to him and engineered horrid processes of persecuting and prosecuting bhagwan devatma and not only threatened to take away his life but actually made murderous attempt by firing pistol shots at him which forms the most gloomy chapter of humanity's history herbert spencer right in his famous book education he says and i quote if by any system of culture an ideal human being could be produced it is not doubtful whether he could be fit for the world as it now is may we not on the contrary suspect that his too keen sense of rectitude and too elevated standard of conduct would make life intolerable and even impossible unquote herbert spencer was quite right in his calculations but he little knew that such an ideal being had actually appeared on this earth in the person of bhagwan devatma the life of highest psychic senses and the ideal standard of conduct which bhagwan devatma lived really made life intolerable for him in this world which is so completely hypnotized by the fascinating form of untruth hypocrisy and world worship that it feels them as the breath of life even in the so called religious and any person who raises voice against him is considered a heretic worthy of extreme punishment but these might and most glorious forces carried in their very texture the elements of triumph hence through bhagwan devatma suffered do bhagwan devatma suffered most acutely at the hands of thousands of human beings especially the worshipers of one god for whose highest good he worked with phenomenal energy his achievements have been also nonetheless grand and most glorious the story of the evolution of such a unique life cannot fail to be of utmost interest and profit for all adhikari fit souls as the only type which the humanity must follow if it is ever to come out of the throttling yoke of all the happiness based low loves and low hates which invoke on the head of man untold miseries absolute disharmony in all relations soul darkness and soul annihilation we offer the short biographical sketch of bhagwan devatma and the brief outline of his teachings with a marked consciousness of our imperfections and want of ability but with an honest conviction that it would serve as a precursor for fuller and more complete life sketches of such a unique personality by some abler hands it is proposed to publish this biography in parts every part can covering a special period of bhagwan devatma's life the first part is at present offered to the public and others would follow as circumstances permit this this is the note by the publisher thank you